Welcome aboard the beautiful Carnival Vista. We're spending the next 48 hours at sea, so that means there's a lot of fun to be had and exploring to do on this extraordinary ship that is the Carnival Vista. I'm your host, Nick J, and you're watching Discover Live at Sea. Well, very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back aboard the beautiful Carnival Vista for day number two here on board. We've got a fun-filled day for you today. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff, and we're starting off our morning with morning trivia, and then from there, that's gonna transition into the morning show. Let's go. And we are Man, wasn't that so much fun. But next up on the plan is going up to Lido and checking out what they have up there. And speaking of plans, make sure you go to your Carnival Hub app and check out the what's happening section on your app and you can plan out your day uh, so you can heart certain activities that you wanna do. And Carnival will send you a 15 minute reminder before uh, that activity happens. So 15 minutes before that activity happens, they'll send you a little notification as well. Now, for the people that are in your party, uh, you'll also be able to see who else has hearted that on your what's happening section. So you'll be able to join them in what fun that they may be, may be taking part in on board the show. So that's a super cool feature, but now let's go ahead and head up to the Lido deck. You gotta get dressed up for fun. Audience, they need your help, they need those supplies, and they got one minute to get it. In three, two, one, go! They need hats, they need dresses, they need bags, you gotta dress them up. Sir, help your people get ready. You got one minute right here is a big runway. So what I'm gonna need you to do is I'm gonna need you to work the runway. Ah, oh, subtle, pal, Victoria's not so secret model. Working everything that crochet has got to offer. Man, oh man, wasn't that so, so much fun hanging out at, at Lido with all the Lido deck parties and festivities and all the music. Such a great vibe up there, but we're just making it back to the room. And uh, one thing that Carnival does is they make towel animals. Um, but if you do leave stuff out, sometimes they will use those as like props for the towel animals. Anyways, we just came back to the room and I have a little friend. I don't know what we should name him, but he's very cool. <laughs> he's got some of our sunglasses on. Super, super cool. I love this. If I can tell you one thing about Carnival, the crew, they're super, super awesome, always in a great mood. They just do such a great job at taking care of us. So yeah, that's about all that we have planned to do for today for all the activities. Uh, but now, it's time to start getting ready for formal night. Now, tonight is a formal night here on board the Vista. On the Vista, for its seven night itineraries, you'll be able to find two formal nights. One on the second day, which is the very first sea day, and one on day number six, which typically consists of your last port day. Uh, and for us, that's Cosmo, Mexico. So ladies and gentlemen, now it's about time to get ready for formal night. Let's get fancy. And just like that, we are ready for formal night. Ladies and gentlemen, let's head down to the dining room, take some pictures, and start off our elegant evening. Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the beautiful Carnival Vista for day number three here on board. This is our second sea day, and I am so, so excited to take you guys along. Let's go ahead and start this day. Let's go. So one thing I love about this class of ship is all of the outdoor seating here on this area called the Lanai. So uh, you, as you can see, there's a bunch of outdoor seating right here. Uh, they've also got outdoor seating for places like Banzai Sushi and the Steakhouse. So if you'd like to, you know, uh, elevate your experience out by the ocean, you can do so by sitting out here, which is very, very cool. Here's the IMAX theater. So there's an actual IMAX theater here on board the Carnival Vista. There's also one on the horizon, which is very, very cool. But you can see they're playing some of the newest movies. I know there's one that was really, really big this cruise. 
very, very cool. There's a whole downstairs to it where you can actually buy your tickets and everything. But very, very cool addition. When we just made it back to the room and I was looking at the fun times or the what's happening section on the Carnival Hub app and I noticed that they have Sea Day brunch today. So any day that you're, there's a day at sea when you're on board a Carnival Cruise, they're gonna do a thing called Sea Day brunch. So I think that's where, what we're about to go do because I've personally never done it uh, and they look like they've have got some great, great options on the menu for us. So I'm looking forward to it, uh, you know, and letting you guys know my thoughts on it and let us know down in the comments down below. Have you been to Sea Day brunch? and what's your favorite thing to get on the menu. But without further ado, I think it's about time for us to head down there, so <laughs> let's go. All right, so we just finished up at Sea Day Brunch, and it was super, super good. I would recommend it 100%. Uh, now, what I got, I ended up getting the steak and eggs, uh, and then I also got a skillet cake. Now, if I were to give it a ranking out of 10, uh, 10 being the best, one being the worst, I would give the steak and eggs about an eight out of 10, and the skillet cake about a seven out of 10. It was honestly really good, and I personally would get it again. Um, so yeah, that, that's my rating on that. But now, it's about time to go check out the military appreciation in the Liquid Lounge. On dotted lines, airports, You've got it going on. Give yourself one more big round of applause there. Service is very near and dear to me personally as my father and all of my uncles served in the U.S. Armed Forces. You deserve it. Thank you. Christine Duffy, everybody. So ladies and gentlemen, we have just made it back from military appreciation and that was so, so awesome. Um, you know, Carnival, thank you so much for doing that for our service members. It's absolutely awesome. And uh, they actually did end up pointing out that Carnival Cruise Line uh, is the cruise line that carries the most service members. Uh, so I, I do wanna thank, once again, thank you Carnival for doing what you do for our service members who have worked so hard for us. Um, but during that event, uh, the ship has been rocking quite a bit. So we're going to head up to Lido and see what's going on outside because there's a, supposedly supposed to be a thunderstorm today. It feels like we might be in it right here, right now. So <laughs> let's go check that out because it's, man, we're rocking. Oh, and wait before we leave, we've got a new friend. What should we name him? <laughs> Let us know down in the comments down below. But hello, Mr. Fr oh, it's a frog. It's a frog. What should we name him? Kermit? Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, let us know down in the comments below. All right, let's head up to Lido. So that's the situation with the rain. Uh, but since then, I've headed back in and I picked up a Vista ship model, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, what that looks like. All right, so this is uh, the box that the Carnival Vista ship model comes in. Uh, this actually ran me $30. Um, so, I mean, if you're willing to pay this much for a ship model, uh, I would say go ahead and do it because they look pretty, pretty cool from the ones that I saw on display. So, uh, once you open it up, boom, it's not the ship. <laughs> we gotta open this up too. Well, that wasn't pretty, but still not open. <laughs> Well, uh, it's very, very cool. So for those of you who like ship models, I, this is definitely one to get. Uh, very, very cool, lots of detail on the top. So yeah, they've even got the Havana at the back. So this is very, very cool. Go get yourself one when you're on board the Carnival Vista. So the time is now 7.57 and it's almost time for dinner. We went ahead and stopped by the Limelight Lounge to check out the comedy show, but unfortunately, uh, you know, it's full right now because uh, we didn't make it in time. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of stroll around the ship, see what's happening, and then we're gonna go to dinner straight after that. So here's the Red Frog Pub. This is the very first brewery at sea. So it's very, very cool. Got live music in here as well. It's a great vibe in there. Great, great vibe. Uh, super chill. Not many people in there. All right, we just finished up dinner. Uh, now it's time to head to the theater for a more Cubano with the show tonight. So I'm really excited to see it. Carnival Vista! Say, why can't you not? Can't I be this guy? 
amazing dance. We're all gonna get up on our feet, out of our seats. We're gonna move the beat straight upstairs to deck number 10 because in 10 minutes, the deck party kicks off. Wow, wasn't that an amazing show? All right, now we've got to hurry up, head up to Lido because it's now time for the mega deck party. It's gonna be so, so much fun. And you guys are coming along with me. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching day number three of our cruise here aboard the beautiful Carnival Vista. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Without further ado, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna be in Jamaica. It's gonna be so, so much fun, you guys. I'm your host, Nick J. So long, hope you stay long. The very next adventure, very, very soon. Bye-bye. Today we've arrived in our very first port of call. Montego Bay, Jamaica. We're going to do a hop on hop off bus. To do that, they've got some water activities down there as well. Uh, we're here in this little gift shop and they've got a bunch of different Jamaica merchandise. Wow, wasn't that an amazing day and a beautiful sail away from Montego Bay, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for sticking along. Thirty minutes. You were out there for four and a half hours. <laughs> wow. Oh, All right. So we lights on. I cannot wait to see you in the very next one. So without further ado, I'm your host here on the Nick.